Hello everybody, this is Thomas over here at the Hobby Modelist doing a, a, reveal, a reveal unboxing of the 65 Chevy Impala Fuchs design. This is for the Fuchs build for Hobby Link International and let's get, let's get at it. Well, well, this I don't normally do, do this, but I'm, this one's just giving me a hit. Normally, I cut the plastic all the way off so I can save it on top of the box. But even it and trying to rip this off is giving me issues. <laughs> ah, the box the box was damaged a bit, so it's not like you know I've got a professional or not professional um, collector's edition box or nothing. And this was just still recently re being sold. So, but this is my entry uh, to the Fluke's build, sponsored by Hobby. Hobby Link International. Well, this is going to give me problems no matter what I do, isn't it? There it comes. All right. I guess I'm going to have to stand up. I can't do this sitting down. Doesn't look like. All right, two sets of wheels, it looks like. A regular and then a low profile. A glass, all together up on the front. The body, along with the chassis, all together. One solid, not one solid piece, but yeah. Oh, that, look at that a little later on. And one main, well, there's some red parts in there. One main bag with uh, white parts, all molded in white. There's some big spinner wheels, I guess. Yeah, and knockoffs right there. There's a uh, classic wheels, some windshield wipers. Some other things. Unfortunately, I'm trying to look at them and show you all, but the camera's right where I need to be looking. <laughs> a chrome console. Some door knobs looks like maybe. Anyway, and there's our design, our decals. Looks like the disc brakes has got decals for the disc brakes, along with some other white walls and maybe I guess there. Anyway, we've got a pretty heavy duty uh, packet of papers here for the build. Five, uh, I 
11, 12 papers. Well, well, there's 12 right there, so 13. Fourteen and fifteen. Sixteen uh packs of papers if you just have to let me know in the comments if anybody would like for me to take the time to uh picture all that. I will if someone wants it done. I'm not gonna do it just here because it'd be something I have to sit down and a little bit more time at. Where's my there's my knife? We'll see what's going on in the one or two white pla uh, plastic bags. This one has a, a bag in a bag. There's the red parts. Set them there. And pull the bag out of the bag. And it's got a batteries got all kinds of things that's a distributor right there I've got a I bought a distributor as a STL file that I've got to, to redo it's uh it's nowhere near model car size so I don't know what the situation was but it's got all the holes pre-drilled into it easy peasy but I had to resize it because it wasn't the correct size. Some doors. Some door skins. Um, a belt system. You see all their stuff there. Oh. Looks like I got two front ends there. Yep. I guess you got a choice. One, well, one's probably lowered and the other one's not, I guess. Some shocks. Leaf springs, all that good stuff. Well, there's no leaf springs on this. They must be on another piece of plastic. Let's go back to this uh, one that was the bag in the bag. All right. I'm not going to take the chrome out or any of the glass, but that, you know, that can be expected. Seats, dash, a lot going on on that grill, or not grill, but uh, dash facing. And the hood, firewall, something to do with the radiator. All right, well, we're going to try it right now, see if I can't. Go through the all the parts. Got dual exhaust, separated out all the way out. There's a carburetor, a starter, I guess. Well, there we go.
know if that probably doesn't help any, but and of course door panels. Those other things. Interior tub. And last but not least, we're going to open this. Uh, this video is going to go a little long, longer than I like to make them. There's the chassis. And of course, in that beautiful, beautiful 65 Impala. Yep, 65. I love all Impalas. Impalas is just one of the cars I just love. Got some good riding on there on the side, it looks like. It'd be easy to pick them out and get them all detailed up. Anyway, folks, that's it. I hope you all like that and appreciate uh, the unboxing. This is for the Hobby Link International Foof Build. And this is Thomas over here at the Model Hobbies. Please like, subscribe, and share with others. Greatly appreciated.